genome. So genome it has all your master file. If you're a software developer, you understand it. All your master codes are in your genome. So it was only one genome we needed to create the whole life. So this DNA, once we download it, we can make you another person. Another mole will be perhaps to be made one day. And the dog or cat will be made as we have seen. So that's your whole genome. So it has a key to everything of your life. Uh, when you have a disease, when you grow old, when you will die, uh, it decides that. Uh, and you can think of this way. Uh, it, even apple has uh, its own DNA. Banana has its own DNA. Even apple is a vegetarian. It doesn't matter how much food vegetarian you'll eat, you'll still die because the DNA is programmed that way. Apple has to die, banana has to die. So the DNA can be a tool for us to uh, research, how to help understand what is going to happen uh, in our body, in our life. Perhaps we'll be able to prolong our life. Perhaps we'll have a healthy aging without having those complications. So it's very important to understand how we can decode this genome. We can download the genome today as you can download your music file, as you download your pictures, and you can download your whole DNA file today. We have done it. I have one for my family, for kids, and everyone else around me. And this is the future. It's here. We don't have to wait for the future to be arriving. And you have to go back 50 years. The whole concept of there is something that existed. And we didn't know how to download it, how to analyze it. So DNA was discovered. And it took us a while to figure it out uh, by doing a whole human genome project. Uh, it took us about 13 plus years to figure it out what it means and how we could analyze it, how we can download it. It took us about uh, $3 million to spend the first uh, genome. The first genome was given our birth cost. But we had a challenge. The challenge was the first sequencing that was done, it was not uh, the right sequencing. We didn't have technology. We didn't have a, those supercomputers who could help us out. We missed out the area of centromere. Centromere is the center uh, of the DNA that binds things together. We thought we cannot see it, it doesn't exist. But we learned a lot last year as the DNA got sequenced again uh, as a, a center file. Then we also found that the junk DNA, we thought it's a garbage DNA file, the repeated codes, doesn't make sense. But every code makes sense, we just didn't understand at that time. We still might not know the full potential of the whole DNA code. And the same way when you have a software. So all the software programmers plan all this code, sometimes code has a function, but it's not a garbage code, a junk code. We just don't know the functionality of the code that the person who programmed it. And now the new person has to figure that out, that coding language, what happened when this person was designing this code at that time. So think of that way your DNA is. 